In this video, I'll explain how to use the Angular click attribute. The Angular click attribute makes it very simple to set up a click event handler for a DOM element. In this example, I've taken a couple of different uh, approaches. The first approach is I'm providing a method name to the click attribute. So when this button is clicked, I'm going to execute this method, uh, method set message one, which is a property on our component, which we'll see in a moment. In the second button, when that is clicked, I'm providing an expression. So uh, this expression will be evaluated. And here I'm saying the content, which is a property in our component, is set to the string, this is message two. And then in this third button, when it's clicked, I'm evaluating this expression. And I'm saying the count property on our component is incremented by one. So let's look at our component. And we'll see there's a count property, which I just mentioned, so that's a number. And then a content property, which is a string. And there's also the set message method. So when that method is executed, I'm saying that the content property of this component is set to this is message one. So before we go too much further with the code, let's see how this all looks. So when I click button number one, it sets the content to this is message one. When I click button number two, it sets the content to this is message number two. And when I click this button, it's text changes I've been clicked however many times it's been clicked times so why are these things happening here well with bu button number one I said call the set message method and the set message method changes the text to the content to this is message one so when I click uh, the first button I should see this is message one which is what I see for the second button I should see this is message two, and that's happening because I'm evaluating an expression here for the, when the button is clicked. So it just directly sets the content property to message two. And once again, for message three, it increments the count property by one. So once again in the page, when I click the first button, it says this is message one, second button, this is message two and the third button just increments count. And that's because for each button, I've set the click attribute and it's evaluating whatever I provide. In this case, it's evaluating an expression or an, a method on our component. And in these two cases, it's actually evaluating an expression that I provide right here in line. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.